Hey, this is Paul Green of the Wise Grappler, and I just want to take a minute out to uh, shoot a little video and give my perspective on the fight that happened last week in between Randy Couture and James Tony, and uh, my perspective on this whole MMA versus boxing debate. First thing I need to say is big ups to both OGs, Randy Couture, who's in my Wise Grapple Hall of Fame, as well as James Tony. It's always good when two champions coming together in the ring and do what they do best. Uh, fortunately, uh, we didn't see the kind of fight that we expected to see, or then again, we did see the fight that we expected to see. Uh, very reminiscent of the earlier UFC days when you had an extremely versed grappler or someone who's versed in all three areas of the MMA game, the punching, the striking, the grappling, and the takedowns, or against someone uh, who's only versed in one area, which is the boxing, and that was in James Tony. I'm sure with his mindset, if he sticks with it, over time, he'll develop, and James Tony will become uh, the kind of fighter that uh, he will represent himself well in MMA. Now, uh, the thing that really bothers me is I don't quite understand how we got to this whole who's better, uh, MMA or boxing. It seems like it kind of got started based upon one wanting to be the badass over the other, or if it's a marketing ploy, I don't know. But in my opinion, it's really like comparing an apple to an orange because they're so different. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, let's take the orange here for example. The orange here has a skin that's inedible. Uh, it has slices on the inside and the slices are made up of uh, watery pulp. Uh, if you cut it in half, you can squeeze it. It'd be very easy to produce juice out of it. Uh, the juice will cause a sticky residue on your hands that will cause you to wash it if it annoys you too badly. And it has seeds on the inside of it. The apple, on the other hand, has a very edible skin. It also has a pulp on the inside that's edible, but it doesn't produce as much uh, water. And uh, if you wanted to get juice out of it, you'd have to use some kind of processor to kind of smash it together to squeeze the, the water out of it. And it also has seeds. And just like with boxing and MMA, I think the only real commonality that the two things have are the seeds. And when you uh, look at the, the boxing and MMA, striking with both hands and uh, the footwork that's associated with it, and some of the conditioning and uh, the mental tactics that go uh, along with the sports, they have that thing in common. But if this orange is an MMA uh, person, he has the ability to not only strike with the hand, but with the feet. He has the ability to do takedowns, and once he gets to the mat, uh, he has the ability to submit his opponents or beat the opponent to a crap until they quit or submit. If the apple only has the ability to only punch on the feet, if the orange ever takes the apple down, the apple is completely lost. And no matter how much time that this apple puts in trying to learn how to do uh, takedowns or kicking. It will never get as good as the orange who represents the MMA fighter. And that's exactly what it's like uh, or what happened with the fight this past weekend, right? James Tony is a phenomenal champion grappler and maybe one day he'll be a phenomenal MMA guy. But within the four or five months that he was getting ready for this fight, his on the mat submission skills were probably equivalent to a BJJ white belt and his takedown defenses and maybe takedowns were probably equivalent to an average high school grappler. To compare him to, let's say, this MMA orange who's Randy Couture, who is a world-class wrestler and who has been doing submissions on a world-class level, it would be virtually impossible for this <laughs> amateur apple to step in this arena and to be able to deal with uh, the MMA guy. It just wouldn't work. Now, if you flip the on the reverse side, if Randy entered into a competition where they said, okay, Randy, you can't do any takedowns, you can't do any kicks, you can't do any submission work, you can only stand up in there and punch with James, then the exact same thing would happen in reverse. James Tony would eventually probably, no, not probably, would eventually knock Randy Couture out because now Randy has stepped into his arena where he's a lot more skilled in punching. So uh, I know there's these factions out there that want to say we're better than the other guy and there's all this stuff going on and talking about why don't pro fighters step up. The whole argument is ridiculous, okay? Um, they're both good sports, they're both accomplished athletes and they should both kind of stay in their own zones. If one decides to cross over to the other, 
the one that's crossing over goes back essentially to being a novice and trying to learn the particular skill or to become as proficient as the person that he's coming up against. Bottom line. So if, if any of you watched the fight, I'm sure you all did, how could you not think of UFC 1 or UFC 2 where you've got Horace Gracie fighting uh, Art Jemerson with the one boxing glove on and Art really just not knowing what to do when he got taken down. It was, it was the exact same fight except with two different people. So uh, in spite of all the talk you're hearing, boxing's not going anywhere. Boxing's death has been predicted for the past 20, 30 years and it's still around. Still able to draw a big pay-per-view. And uh, as long as you have exciting young fighters out there like Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather Jr., you're always going to have interest. You're always going to have multi-million dollar paydays. And in spite of how much you may not like boxing and you think MMA is growing as it is, there are no MMA fighters out there now that can draw the global excitement of a Pacquiao Mayweather fight or generate the kind of money behind it. Will it get there one day? Sure, maybe. But right now, it's just not there. And it's still an up-and-coming sport. So the debate's starting to sound like a bad kung fu movie where the guys are talking about whose style is better, North Shaolin or South Shaolin, or uh, if my tiger can deal with your crane. You know, if you love both sports, just enjoy them. Appreciate the people that are in them. If you train in them both, good luck. Keep, you know, put all the energy you can in just becoming the best competitor or just, you know, practitioner that you can be. If you want to cross over, that would be fantastic. But to compare an orange MMA to an apple boxing is just totally ridiculous. Okay? That's my thought on it. Uh, feel free to comment on it uh, here on my blog or wherever you see this video. If you agree with me, that's great. If you don't agree with me, that's fine, too. I, I, I'm okay with you not agreeing with me and thinking I'm, a, I'm an a-hole. <laughs> My mother said this morning, so why should you be any different? Until then, uh, stay on the mat. Keep doing what you do in your sports, and then uh, let's have fun.